In the age of ignorance and hatred, some Meccans tried to insult the noble prophet by twisting his name, Muhammad, which means praiseworthy, and calling him Mudhamam, which is an abusive word. Allah's apostle said, doesn't it astonish you how Allah protects me from the Quraysh's abusing and cursing? They abuse Madamam and curse Madamam, while I am Muhammad and not Madamam. Today, when haters abuse and curse the Prophet through their writings, cartoons, films, and whatnot, they are actually abusing the person whose identity they themselves have created. The fictional identity of the Madamam. But the miracle is that this abuse also gets people curious to know more about the persona of the Prophet. Any person with common sense sees through the hate propaganda and wants to know about the real Muhammad. This film is for such people with common sense. This film is a very short introduction of Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessings be upon him, the greatest problem solver there ever was. I say that he is the greatest problem solver because he was able to form an entire nation by understanding and solving the problems that people faced. He led by example and showed people how they could live fuller lives, happier lives, by following him and his simple system based on true faith in one God. But it was not easy. He patiently bore the stoning, the hunger, the thirst, and the suffering of being removed from his home and his city. And when he had the power to punish, he forgave his tormentors. At the peak of his power, he spoke gently and sat humbly with the poor and the weak. In a time when people buried daughters alive, he used to stand up with love and respect when his daughter Fatima came in his presence. He loved his grandsons and carried them around on his shoulders. But this gentle and noble apostle of God was victimized. Just as he is victimized today by people who don't know him and by people who don't want others to know the truth about him. The greatest fear of his enemies was the Prophet's smile. Yes, his smile was their greatest fear. They were so scared of that beautiful smile of a wonderful person that his foes advised people visiting the Kaaba not to go near him, not to speak to him, and never to look at him. But that didn't happen. He was irresistible. He conquered hearts with his smile, his beautiful words and merciful actions and he continues to win hearts and minds even today. Around two billion people find him irresistible today. Many thinkers, writers, poets, and intellectuals have spoken highly about him even though they were not Muslims. Goth, the German poet says, I have searched through history to find the best example for a human and I concluded that he is Muhammad. Leo Tolstoy, the Russian writer, says, There has been no prophet who gained the respect of his enemies save the prophet Muhammad. This is why a lot of them embrace Islam later on. Bernard Shaw, the philosopher, says, I studied Muhammad as an amazing man. He must be called the savior of humanity. Alphonse de la Mardine says, if greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and astonishing results are the three criteria of a human genius, who could dare compare any great man in history with Muhammad? But every genius has hate mongers, trying to find ways to insult and spread hate for him. Common sense is clouded by hate and insulting campaigns continue even today. But remember, when someone publicly insults the prophet, the public wants to know more about him. Will you make sure that they find out the truth about the noble prophet instead of more lies? If yes, 
then share this film as much as you can.